It was Shavasa Tamas of 2023. My sister, who was over at the time, took my kids out for the day. It was extremely hot. They went to go get some candy. I was actually in a different room at the time while the kids were just like playing. Then I heard some noise, like some screaming noises. I see my son, you can see that he's choking and he's like turning blue. That's when I quickly went into action, picked up my son to take him outside. I was thinking maybe should I just carry him quickly next door to that. So the guy wasn't sure if he's home either. So I was like, we're just wasting time. At that point, I quickly called out Sala. Atsala, what is the address? I come home from work, fasting, tired, exhausted. I went upstairs and uh, decided to take a nap till Myrev. Any units available in the last court for a possible choking? A call goes out for a possible choking next door to my house. I jump out of bed, I run outside, I'm thinking to myself, car or walk, it's literally next door. I just decide if I may, maybe if I need equipment, just could jump into the car. Usually when there's a call for a child choking, everyone on Atala hears the call and we're all waiting for the first member to get there and say, units on a slowdown. The first member got on the air and he said, yeah, I need a on a rush. Then we knew it was a real call. 144 is final. A backup unit, the boss all 37. This is 44 is final. We got there, we saw a child, approximately seven, eight years old, on the floor, semi-conscious, obviously gasping for air, was cyanotic, was blue, seemed pretty critical. As in every choking call, you know, you start with the Heimlich maneuver. Usually after a couple of thrusts, you see this relief, the patient trying to cough and to gag. Here, the patient was just getting more and more agitated. I'm like trying and, you know, going stronger and stronger and trying to get that air to push the obstruction out. And I'm thinking to myself, this is supposed to be working, and it's not. And I'm like, you know, davening, like, Rabban Shalom, help me make this work. Like, this child is, you know, literally minutes away from, from death. At that point, I think everyone realized that this is literally a matter of life and death. Couldn't get his airway cleared. I was watching my son the entire time, and it was very scary. It was like, you know, I, I didn't know what was going to be. I really didn't know. We began to do what we can to use our video laryngoscope to be able to go into the patient's throat and see what's going on. We saw that the item wasn't just sitting there, that we could just pull it out and dislodge it, which we would normally do. We felt that the only way we'll be able to deal with this was to sedate the patient and hopefully expect the item to somehow um, loosen up a little bit that we could actually go inside and intubate the patient, put the patient on a ventilator, and push the item down. Ultimately, after a couple of maneuvers, they were successful. 74, 231, At that point, most of the members on scene breathed a small sigh of relief that we got over the, the hardest part of the call. The next plan of action was getting into a definitive care, which is a hospital. We took him to Jersey Shore, and we just managed through keeping him stable. And as we were moving on to the hospital, Baruch Hashem, the patient's condition continued improving. Thursday night, I believe already, we got an update from the father that they pulled out this huge round ball from a lolly. Friday morning, they told us he'll probably be there for a good week or two to be able to come out. Um, they said it could be at least a couple days till he comes off the ventilator, but he was able to actually come off on Shabbos and he was able to come home Sunday morning. To have our son back in our hands two days later, and see him just running back in camp, and now see him every single day just doing things like a regular kid does. 
honestly, there's no words that we could say thank you to Atala for what they did. As a responder, we know that the difference of an extra second, literally of an extra second, can mean the difference in the outcome of a patient. Those critical moments where Atala came in and got there at the time that we got there, I managed to remove that obstruction that I can say quite confidently to save the child's life. A story like this is made possible, first and foremost, by the incredible devotion and dedication of our members, the way they drop everything they did at a moment's notice to go and save this child's life. However, there is a back end. There is an operation that enables this. That includes the dispatching system, the communication system, the equipment, the training, the vehicles, the fleet, everything that we have, all of it ties into making saving such a life possible. And the only way we're able to do this is with community partnership. This is our Hatzalah. This is the Hatzalah of the members when they respond, but it is equally the Hatzalah of the community when they support this vital mission.